Hey there, and welcome back to Feature Shelf, a series that provides book recommendations based on theme or title suggestions. Today's video is the first of season two and is in honor of the return to school. I am the supplier, and this is Feature Shelf number 29, the boarding school edition. It seems to me that, at least in the movies, there are a lot more hijinks in boarding schools than there are in regular school. And it, maybe it has something to do with being with the same people all the time, and, and it just lends itself to roguery. I could be wrong. But the five books that I'm going to share with you today contain a fair amount of mischief. First up is The Disreputable History of Frankie Lando Banks. Frankie, who is in her second year of boarding school but her first year without her sister, is upset that the Loyal Order of the Basset Hounds, a not-so-secret secret secret society, kind of like the Skulls or the Life and Death Brigade, is boys only. So naturally, Frankie takes over and gets everyone in trouble. It was the pranks that got her in trouble, and pranks are fun! Just ask the characters from Culver Creek in Looking for Alaska by John Green. This is the kind of book that will make you laugh, and it will make you cry, and it will make you think. And I have it on good authority that the prank that main character Pudge and his friends commit at the end of the book is similar to something that Green and his friends pulled off when they were in high school. If you've already read Looking for Alaska, you might also like The Tragedy Paper by Elizabeth Laban. This one is told in alternating perspectives. See, exiting seniors leave presents for the incoming seniors who inherit their dorm rooms. Duncan inherits the room of Tim, who found himself in some trouble the year before. Tim's present to Duncan was a set of CDs that chronicles the events of the previous year. You know, it also might appeal to fans of 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, but I'm not going to talk about that one because it's not set in a boarding school. In The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Vader, one of the boys that Henrietta's resident psychic sees in spirit in the graveyard is a boarding school boy named Gansey. Seeing him in the graveyard means that he's gonna die sometime in the next year. If that's not weird enough for you, Blue, the female protagonist, isn't supposed to be able to see him, but she does. And she talks to him. Which means that he could be her true love. Or that she kills him. Or possibly both. Cassell from White Cat by Holly Black is no stranger to killing people, except that only he and his family knew what happened to the girl that died. So he's in boarding school now and he's trying to lay low, and he seems to be doing a fairly good job of it until he sleepwalks onto the top of one of the dorms. Oh, hey, did I mention that everybody in his family has powers? They're called curse workers. Well, everybody has powers except for him. So that was five books set in boarding schools. The Disreputable History of Frankie Lando Banks, Looking for Alaska, The Tragedy Paper, The Raven Boys, and White Cat. For previous feature shelves, or to see what's coming up in the next few weeks, visit thebooksupplier.com slash feature shelf. If you'd like to recommend other books set in boarding schools, or you'd like to request your own feature shelf, leave it in the comments, and I'll see you there soon. Until then, I'm the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome.